he would be the person known for tickling you uncontrollably or licking your face or elbow along with a maniacal laugh. This is Torres. Torres, you're most popularly known as the Spanish word for towers. Possibly, you know, it's possible that it could also be the last name of one's Latino friend, family member, or acquaintance. Well, their last name. Um, hell, even Urban Dictionary defines you as a true love, someone you can lean on, who will always be there for you. The only person who can ever really love you. Because they care about you more than on a physical level. Well, you know, yeah, definitely. Uh, all this is just facts upon facts upon facts, and I love it all. Your best characteristics? Confidence. That just kind of oozes out of this man, and in the best way possible. I feel like it's supported me and helped me repair and build so much of it in myself. It's one of the reasons why I love you. Determination. I gave you three, by the way. This is the second one. Determination. Drive, drive, and more. Drive. I can tell that when Torres really sets his focus, all of everything is put into his mission and nothing's stopping him. Like, literally nothing. And if you try to stop him, he's going to probably get upset with you. So, you know, case in point. Integrity. One of the most valuable yet rare traits to have these days, especially in COVID-19. Right. Uh, babe, you're just the realist. It doesn't really get any more real than you. Real matches real because I'm real and you're real. So real plus real equals more real. And that's why we're together. My favorite things about you, me, shoot, or your favorite things about me, sorry. <laughs> your favorite thing is me. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, second to that would probably be God. Actually, no, no, okay, let's not, let's not be blasphemous. Okay, God is number one. I'm number two, of course. Number three would be playing video games. <laughs> And number four would be just learning, because you're so damn smart, and you're constantly exercising your brain and everything. Um, I like to joke and call you my, my Whittle Philomath. But I also learned another word for you. It's Pantomath. You're a Philomath Pantomath. And if y'all know what that means, you better look it up. But that's what Bebe is. A Pantomath Philomath. Nicknames for you? I feel like I've given you hundreds over the last how many years we've been together. Um, yeah, I stopped counting after like three or four because I mean, I just knew, you know, after like we got through the second year, we've just, you know, been together forever. But uh, Bubby was the very first nickname I think I gave you. And then I shortened it to Bubs. And then I started calling you Bub. I call you Babe all the time, that's a given. And then recently we've been doing a lot of bebes, you know, so <laughs> I really just like to call you everything except Torres. You know, I don't I think I ever really call you Torres. Maybe, maybe not. Unless I'm mad. I don't even think I call you Torres when I'm mad. Yeah, you're, you're just babe. You're babe, you're bubs, you're bubby. And I did call you mate one time because I heard it on YouTube and I thought that was really funny. I was like, hey, mate. And we just started laughing. That was really cool. <laughs> Um, the craziest thing you've ever done, you uh, you dropped everything you were doing in D.C. to move to Minnesota with your grandmother to better yourself and start a life with me, period. Period. Okay. That was pretty crazy, but I'm glad you did it. Uh, the one thing people often misunderstand about you, people are intimidated AF by you. You know, I think it's hilarious because everybody always has this perception of you being like that dude that's just like militant and like, you know, you're going to be super mean and arrogant. But like when people get to know you, you're just like down and like cool AF. OK, um, I mean, you're just the sweetest person to know. And 
and I, I've always said though that I think people feel this way because you have like this glowing aura of sexiness, okay? And then you got the leadership, and then you got the confidence, okay? And you know, that you're, you're just that person that intrigues people when you come into a room, and you don't say too much and you don't say too little, but that's just enough to keep people wanting to know more. And, and, and plus you're hot, I mean, you know, you're just hot. And that's actually hot, and that's H-A-W-W-H-T, okay? H-A-W-H-A-T-T, ha ha hot, okay? It's sizzling, it's burning, okay? But that don't mean you gotta touch it, because it belonged to me. Everybody listening over here, don't be even like fantasizing about this little video, because I know he's smiling in the camera and everything, but no, 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 okay? No, no, no. Which brings us to if he were a dish, what would he be? Um, I had to break this down because you know I love food. So I said if you were a coffee, you'd be a hot coffee with caramel and whipped cream, period. If you were an alcoholic beverage, you would be Long Island iced tea. Because you're it's just a classic, it's refreshing, it's simple, it goes down smooth and it leaves you feeling great. Okay. Or uh you would be hot wings. <laughs> if you were like the best food to have you'd be hot wings you know dipping sauce is optional but the but you know the dipping sauce don't make the wings the wings are the thing okay it's the wings y'all when y'all get wings you ain't really too concerned about the dipping sauce you just want a really good wing torres is the best wing in your town okay the best wing spot in your town the best wings you ever had that's that's who torres is okay all right if if life were a game, what would be his cheat code? His cheat his cheat code would be the entire Bible. Amen. Amen. Let's give it to the Lord. Clap, 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 snap, 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 clap, 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 slap. Okay? The whole Bible. Uh, what would be the creepiest thing he would say to a stranger? Okay, so the thing about this is, like, me and Torres, we love watching horror movies and, like, thrillers. It's, it's just, like, a, a favorite thing of ours. We're even play, playing this awesome uh, video game. I probably can't say the name just for, like, copyright and brand stuff, but, you know. So, anyways, we're playing this game. Um, and, you know, it's just our thing. Torres speaks normally to people, okay? If he really wants to get at somebody or someone, he, he stays calm. He's calm. He's collective. He, but he's thoughtful, okay? So the real question should be, not what would Torres say, but what would be the creepiest thing Torres would do to a stranger, okay? Nothing sick, of course, so don't start thinking disgusting and dirty, because, okay, like, like I said, we love thrillers, we've seen horror movies, we know and we've seen sick, okay? And not sick, that's not Torres. But if he were a villain, he would be the person known for tickling you uncontrollably or licking your face or elbow along with a maniacal laugh. That's exactly who he'd be. Okay? So don't get on his bad side. Because he, he might just capture you and bound you and then start licking your elbow until you can't take it anymore. I don't know. Maybe not, though, because he's really nice. But you probably like it because he's hot. Okay. All right, if he was going to get into a fight, what soundtrack would be playing in the background? You know, I didn't really have to think too hard on this one because he is a, well, I don't want to say extreme fan, but he kind of up there, okay? He loves Kanye West. Kanye West, okay? And what song of Kanye's would be playing? Probably We Major. <laughs> it would probably be me, we major or hell anything Kanye West honestly because you know I mean you could just speak the name Kanye West and people start giving it a little a little shiver a little shake a little you know a side eye something you can't just play Kanye West and don't think that this person don't don't know what's up or it might have a little crazy in them okay like Kanye West fans are crazy because he crazy you know what I'm saying crazy attracts crazy okay so, so yes, if you were to fight Torres and, and soundtrack music could be in the background, it's going to be We Major playing or something Kanye West. <laughs> now, this, of course, doesn't sum up all of my bebe and how awesome and perfect he is, but this is just a fun way of introducing you to him. But you can't get to know him too much because I'm kind of jealous, so yeah. 
though don't don't even look at this video too hard like give us the views but just kind of like you know don't look at it too hard peace